going to go over my two-gun loadout here. I ran today uh, training, so I just kind of wanted to go over some of the gear that I will be running. There is a competition going on in April in West Virginia, so I've been training. And uh, today's loadout was going to be is going to be this. Um, some pants, cargo, triple alt design. I think this is their contractor pants. Uh, they're pretty good. Very comfortable. Owned them for a couple of years. Um, no issues with those. They have space for uh, knee pads. And the cargo pockets are definitely generous. Um, I'm going to go over the clothing first. Over here, it's just an undershirt. It's gray. Uh, weather wicking. Over here, I'm going to go. I got some gloves. Green. Uh, baklava. Uh, or actually a neck gaiter that I wore today. Some boots, Timberlands, um, three ankles, uh, three quarters high, uh, very sturdy, uh, waterproof. So they've been put to the test. I've had them for about 15 years now, so keep going. All right, let me go over here to this part. Um, on top of the weather wicking, I had this, uh, this zip up sweater or wicking type um, garment. I wore that underneath uh, with a baseball cap. The baseball cap was a trucker's hat. Today was raining and the rain got through the mesh part. So that wasn't that great. Uh, with a, I think this is Columbia uh, rain jacket that I wore. It definitely did not let the rain come through. So I did that. Uh, let's go on to the chest rig. We're in this chest rig. It's a, the base is gonna be special operations equipment and it just has some random magazines attached to it. Uh, so you have right here is a, obviously this is like a Marine, old Marine Corps Double magazine. I have the first one is going to be um, medical here. I ran AK so I can fit one in there. This also has a slot for two fast mags in there. This is for my phone. And then this one holds two additional magazines. So if I counted this up, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then one in the gun would be six. So these are the magazines. Six AK mags, 30 rounders. Um, and then the AK I'm running is a Romanian uh, AK with a brace. And the LPVO, or it's actually a three-powered prism by Primary Arms. Uh, fixed. It did very well today. Uh, even with, with the rain, had no issues with it, um, with multiple target shooting. On the other hand, the SIG 320 had some issues with the rain because it was in my holster. Once the rain got onto there, I can barely see anything. Um, literally had to been, I was wiping that thing all day. Uh, was not able to see the target that well. So... It gives food for thought when you're in the rain at a competition. Do you run iron sights or do you run the LPVO? I mean the uh, red dot. So I got to figure that out. Uh, gun belt. It's a standard gun belt. Just two magazines. It has the Spiritus, just a pouch, which I can run one additional uh, 30 round magazine in there. And it has an admin pouch. And over here, it's just a holster, T-Rex arms, tourniquet, and a uh, multi-tool. Additionally to that, I have a backpack. Did not run the backpack, but I will be probably carrying the backpack at some point because it's a 5 kilometer, 3.1 miles. So I just have extra provisions in that, i.e. water and any kind of snacks. So that's my loadout for the two gun coming up in West Virginia.